I'm Ralph Grizzle, the avid cruiser. For more than two decades, I've cruised the seven seas on some of the world's most luxurious ships. I write about my experiences on avidcruiser.com. My goal is to help people like you make informed decisions about your cruise vacations. Join me today in an exciting new mini-series as I explore the most popular cruise destinations around the world. My name is Ralph Grizzle, and I am the Avid Cruiser. Naples, Sorrento, Capri, Amalfi, you've probably heard the names, and if you haven't, you're in for quite a treat. We're gonna see them all and a lot more. We begin by traveling one of the world's most beautiful roads along the Amalfi Coast. The Amalfi Coast is characterized by high cliffs plunging into a beautiful shoreline. Carved within the cliffs, a highway serpentines its way along the edges, making a ride along the Amalfi Coast like none other. We pass through gorgeous towns and villages dotting the coastline. Positano in particular was positively beautiful. Positano has been featured in several films, including Only You and Under the Tuscan Sun. We drove along a series of switchbacks and through tunnels cutting through the rocky cliffs. The highway isn't that long at all. It's less than 20 miles between Sorrento and Amalfi. Amalfi is a charming little town that was at the end of the road for us. A maritime trading power more than 1,000 years ago, the town became a popular holiday destination for upper-class Brits in the 1920s and 1930s. Today, Amalfi is included on the list of UNESCO World Heritage Sites. Equally as exciting as a drive along the Amalfi Coast is a drive on the Isle of Capri. Capri has been a holiday resort ever since the days of the Roman Republic. Today it's a busy and bustling island with lots to see and do. I sat down for a sample of limoncello. The refreshing lemon drink has its origins here on the Isle of Capri. From Anna Capri, I enjoyed a chairlift ride to the top of Mount Solaro. We travel nearly 2,000 feet above sea level for spectacular views of the coast below. I also visited Villa Saint Michel, the beautiful home of the Swedish physician and author Axel Moon. The estate stands on the very spot where the Emperor Tiberius once had his home. It was Vesuvius that destroyed Pompeii, an ancient Roman city less than 20 miles from the city center of modern-day Naples. Walking these ancient roads and passing the ruins was a humbling experience. Here was a place that was thriving with life until that fateful day when Vesuvius spewed her destructive forces upon the village. The excavated city and its many well-preserved buildings serve as snapshots of Roman life in the first century. Like Pompeii, Herculaneum is also a UNESCO World Heritage Site. But unlike Pompeii, the volcanic forces of Vesuvius did not destroy the rooftops and many of the wooden objects in Herculaneum. I found Herculaneum to be better preserved than Pompeii, but the two complement each other very well. Taken together, the two are frightful reminders of a tragic event that still resonates with us today. We've only been able to show you a little of the beauty of Naples, Sorrento, and the Amalfi Coast. There's a lot more to see, but for that, you'll simply have to come for yourself, and believe me, you won't regret it. I'm Ralph Grizzle, and I'll see you in the next beautiful destination.